Let me tell you a story. Today I just finished my exam and honestly I'm so tired right now since I exam from 8 all the way to 5 solely just for exam. After I get my car with my dad, we have like conversation about the economy of Malaysia, the career and the world, all sorts of like life lessons talk, you know. And in one conversation, he told me a story that I haven't heard of is that we family like 50 years ago actually runs a restaurant company and in that company we actually get quite famous and quite popular since the chef that we are hired is very good at making certain types of food that is very popular in the area and once the employee wanted a higher pay raise of course it makes sense right he provided more value of course he expected a higher income higher payroll our business for whatever reason just denies his offer and yeah he resigns and instantly the company went bankrupt the business went bankrupt another story we call it restaurant b all right restaurant b hires a very professional chef all the way from china since he's very good at making dumpling a traditional dish from china and the business went well suddenly the chef wanted a half a month vacation to meet his parents all the way from China. The company denied simply because they have to maintain their revenue, maintain their profit, since their profit is based on that person, which is the chef. He resigns, the company went bankrupt again. So what's the moral of the story? Some might say that the employee is bad, the attitude is bad. Like once they increase their value, they suddenly wanted more money. But I can guess that most of you will say that the business owner is bad. Like they have no heart, they are not good enough, they are not providing good environment, good rewards for their employees. I can say that the majority of people just, just doesn't like business owner. Like in general, just doesn't like them. They hate the idea of capitalism. Like they hate the idea of the poor get poorer, the rich get richer. Like just think for a second, use your brain for a second bro. The boss are providing job opportunity for you. They are the ones that take the full risk, gain the biggest reward, and those rewards they distribute to their employees. If no business is allowed, or no business is even exists in the world, no one's gonna have job. You're not gonna feed your family. It's because they focus on the wrong thing. So let me explain. Say the business that my family runs in, in the hometown, we focus on getting money. Obviously, right? Every business is wanted to gain more popularity, they wanted to gain more profit, get more money. But they focus on the wrong thing. Instead of focusing on getting money, so let me explain. Say the business that my family runs in the hometown, obviously, but logically, everyone wants to make more money. But what we often neglect is that we neglect the ideas of the vehicles that drive us to point A, to point B in the beginning. How are you gonna go from point A to point B without having the vehicles, the cars? You have to maintenance it, you have to repair it, you have to check it regularly. If you don't do these kind of three things, once the car is broken and you stop in the middle of the road, you are wasting time, you're wasting progress, you're not doing anything at all. People focus too much on the goals, too much on the end point, the B, without focusing on how to do that in the first place. Our family wanted to run a business. They don't focus on how to make their employee happy. So once the high value employee gone, company bankrupt, right? So what are you going to do about it? Focus on the input. Focus on the thing that you truly control. Just like the third law of Newton, it stated that the force that you exerted, it will exert it back to you. It's called reaction force, right? So the amount of effort that you put in correlates to the success that you're going to get. The amount of effort that you put in correlates to your result. The more time, the more effort that you put in, the more success you will gain in that field. Focus on the thing you can control. Focus on how you're going to put more effort. Focus on how you learn. Focus on how you can implement the advice you learn from books, learn from videos, from Instagram, learn from courses. Like implement it and focus on the things that you're going to drive you in the first place. Don't focus about the goals. That's why in my recent YouTube channel, like I, I think eight months ago, I said that I was burned out. Because I focused too much on views, too much on subs. And once the goal is not accomplished in a certain month, I feel discouraged, I feel sad, I have no motivation to do. Change my mindset. Focus on the things that I can truly control. The editing, the camera, the way I speak, the way I, how I present the thumbnails, how I make interesting story for you, my life experience, learn more and experience more. To not only shut myself inside a room and just keep on doing self-improvement every single day. And this is the thing that I can truly control. But views, subs, and duration, like audience retention, is not the things that I can control. It's up to you. Same goes to your business, same goes to your physique. You cannot control your genetics. You cannot control how your muscle will grow. But what you can control is what kind of exercise you do, how to do it, the range of motion, and what kind of exercise you choose to do, and how you're gonna do it. Like push, pull, split, bro split, full body exercise. Like this is your choice, this is what you can control. And naturally, if you do the right thing, at the right time, with right amount of effort, you're gonna achieve the result naturally. You don't have to worry about that. 
like sometimes you, you won't achieve your goals in a certain amount of time. It takes time, it will take the exponential growth. You have to stay through it, focus on your purpose, focus on the things that are going to drive you, focus on how you're going to do it. Don't do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. Mwah.